Hey guys, this is Genuine Polish, and in this video, we're going to be looking at the electrolyzer and discussing how to maximize its use in your colony. So for starters, the electrolyzer is this building here. It converts 1 kilogram of water per second into 888 grams of oxygen and 112 grams of hydrogen per second. So to maximize its use, you're going to need two pumps. The electrolyzer is the most sustainable way to refill your Atmo suits from mid to late game. So let's talk about power. Altogether, this system uses 840 watts of power. If you don't have a dedicated pump for just this system, then it only uses 600 watts. And either way, it's less than a thousand, so you can use normal wires for this system. I like to use conductive wires just so I don't have to ever go in and rebuild it, and that way I can daisy chain systems together. So I like to build all of my rooms that have a controlled atmosphere or temperature with insulated tiles. You can use whatever you prefer. But if you are using hot water and you're relying on ambient temperature to dissipate the heat generated by these machines, then you're probably going to want to use normal tiles or even metal tiles. It's really up to you. So this is the vertical design. Altogether, it uses 14 tiles. It's pretty convenient in that you can tuck it at the sides of your base and you can really put it up and down as many as you like. And it really doesn't take up that much space. Down here is the horizontal design and it uses 12 tiles and it's the absolute most compact uh, setup for this room. And again, I like to use insulated tiles. It's really your preference. These automated switches here I just have for the demonstration of this video. Now we have to talk about how do we filter this while maintaining its power still under a thousand watts. So we have this system here and I've seen it showcased and referred to as the mechanical filter. It, it's been floating around. You can find it. It's been around an auction not included forever. So. The main premise of this is that you want to occupy these pipes here with hydrogen. And because of the nature of gas bridges, once these three pipes here are full of hydrogen, oxygen won't be taken from this pipe here, the main pipe. So let me play it and I can show you the demonstration. So you can see that I have this valve throttled to one gram per second. And really you can choose whatever you'd like. I like to use one gram so that way 999 grams can transfer through this pipe it's just maximizing the output really and you can see the hydrogen transferring through the pipes continuously so it, it actively works as an air filter the inconvenient thing about this system is that you have to first populate these pipes with hydrogen before you can start the electrolyzer so you're either going to need a tank that's saturated with hydrogen or you're going to need a gas filter to get this started once you have these pipes populated with hydrogen they won't ever be emptied, so this is, will be self-sustaining from there on. So you can see this hydrogen, or sorry, this oxygen is going to pass right by the gas bridges, but then the hydrogen is going to go past it, and everything besides this one gram that we've selected, which is all, already being supplied by this continual loop, is passing by the filter. Now we're going to go over the three configurations for the gas filter that I showcased in this video so for all of them they have two gas bridges for this middle one the gas bridges have to be vertical on top of each other and for the other two they're going to be side by side and then i'm going to use the radiant pipe for the loop they all have this u configuration and then of course we have the gas valve and don't forget the gas valve does need to be operated by a duplicate, so you have to have a duplicate interact with it for half a second before you can use the system. So the important thing to note with the gas valve is that the input needs to be connected closest to the output of the first gas bridge. So for this system, it's kind of hard to see, but this higher gas bridge is actually the first one in line. So we will have the gas valve orientated like this. And again, for this one, same thing. And then I'll continue the output to show where the unfiltered gas will go. And finally, after setting all of these to your selected throughput, or I guess it's the opposite of your selected throughput, right? So for one gram, 99 grams are going to come out. For 500, 500 is going to come out. And then we'll use the gas pipe for the output. And there you go. Here's all three configurations. You can see that no matter how you cut it, this is the most compact because this one's eight. This one is also eight. But I just wanted to show you with this middle configuration that you can kind of mess around with this a little bit to kind of make a really niche uh, 
format that might work best for your base. All right, now we're gonna combine the two compact configurations to make the most compact version of this setup. So we have the filter, which is six tiles, and then we have the compact horizontal room, which is 12 tiles for a total of 18 tiles. And this is gonna be the most compact version of this room that you can put together. You could take this filter and place it beneath the vertical room if you prefer, if that suits your colony better. All right, that's gonna be it for this video. I really hope you learned something new. I'm sure plenty of you know plenty about the electrolyzer at this point and I would think most of you have seen the gas valve filter but if you haven't it's definitely a good thing to add to your base if you like what I'm doing please subscribe and if you have a helpful tip or some insight to this construction or how we can make it better please comment down below and I'll highlight your comment if it's really good thanks for watching guys